حالا Have you asked yourself what is the charm and why should I use it? If yes, I will answer you briefly. The Z shell is a unique shell that can be used as an interactive login shell and as a common interpreter for shell scripting. The Z shell is an extended born shell with a large number of improvements, including some features of Bash shell, K shell, and TC shell. The Z features are the Z command. With the Z command, you can navigate to a frequently, recently visited directory just by typing Z. Follow it by the directory name. The auto completion theater. You can just type the command, follow it by dash, then hit tap. This action will then immediately display all of the available options for that command. The autocorrection theater. In the Z shell, if you make an innocent typo while writing a file location, for example, spell correction is built in and will automatically detect the typo. The color customization theater. The Z shell adds color highlighting to directories. Additionally, the font weight will be slightly border this is extremely helpful to see what is a file and what is a directory and many many others theaters that you can read more about it on this link so if you are using solace and you decided to switch your shell from bash to z shell subscribe and drop a like as i will show you how to set up the z shell plus power line on solis to set up z shell First, install ZShell using the following command line. Then, change shell using the following command line. You will find all the command line in the description below. After that, log out and back in again for the change to take effect. A configuration dialog will be showed up when you open the terminal. So read and selection carefully to configure it depending on your preferences. After setting up Z shell, let's make our shell more powerful. By setting up power line. To set up power line, first install power line using the following command line. Second, 
add this line to the Z shell configuration file. Third, add this line to to the Z shell configuration file using the following command line. Now, close the terminal and relaunch it again. And welcome to power line. I hope that I help you. Follow me on social media and visit my blog for more tutorials and tricks. Links below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.